NWA fans, welcome to NWA USA Season 2. The first season was all about the path to the title. Season 2, well, we've got a new NWA Junior Heavyweight Champion. Homicide, how you feeling? Man, I'm very happy. It's on the privilege to become the NWA. Hey, Campeon Chachico. But Mr. Davis, I want you to hold this and see how heavy this belt, this is precious belt, it's heavy, right? It's, everybody talking about the 10 pounds of gold. We're talking about the 187 pounds of gold right now. This is the future of professional wrestling. No offense for the people in the past who grabbed this precious belt, but this man, of all people in the homicide from Brooklyn, New York, represent the East Coast, who represent Everything is your new campeón el mundo. So I'm going to be the champion for a long time, bro. I'm loving this. I'm happy, Holmes. I'm very happy. NWA USA is now. We have a barn burner of a show for you. We're going to be determining the new number one contender for the national championship as Marche Rocket is going to be taking on Jay Bradley of the Fixers. We also are going to be seeing Kerry Morton returning to an NWA ring. Great athlete. Yes. I've seen his dad walking around the halls too, so we're going to expect to see him on future episodes as well. But first, the junior heavyweight championship is in peril here. Homicide defending against the ambassador of British wrestling, Doug Williams. It's Let's get to it. Good. The following match is one fall with a 20 minute time limit. It is for the NWA Junior Heavyweight Championship. Introducing first the challenger, yeah. weighing it at 224.5 pounds. He is the ambassador of British wrestling. This is Doug Williams. Velvet, that weight is very important. 224.5, he is barely making the weight limit for the junior heavyweight title. Yeah, it's close, Joe. The NWA All Access Annual Pass on Fight. For just $49.99 a year, you can see all six NWA pay-per-views each year live on Fight. Enjoy first-run airings each Tuesday of new NWA Power episodes at a historical time of 6.05. Watch the action of NWA USA Saturdays and experience Fight-only special events and content like the acclaimed 10 Pounds of Gold series. All the action, all the power, all the pay-per-views, all the shows. For only $49.99, that's a savings of over $100 opposed to if you were just to order it all alone. To subscribe, visit fight.tv today. That's F-I-T-E dot TV. NWA All Access on Fight. Why bother with monthly subscriptions when one year gets it all? Coming to the ring, he is the NWA Junior Heavyweight Champion. Winging at 187 pounds, he is the notorious legend, Homicide! Homicide so impressive. Holding on to that Junior Heavyweight Championship. We love seeing around his waist. Big victory at the Crockett Cup. Homicide's gonna be a tough contender to take that title from. Homicide has asked for the best competition in the junior heavyweight division, and he is getting that with Doug Williams. 
came up short at the Crockett Cup in the finals against the Briscoes, one half of the Commonwealth Connection. Doug Williams, not only an accomplished tag team wrestler, very successful in his own right in singles competition. And might I add, Tom Homicide said that he doesn't want any non-title matches. Yeah. Only title matches. Only title matches for Homicide. Every match matters. Champs rules. Shows what a true fighting champion is all about. These two have a very, very long history. Several battles over the years know each other incredibly well. As Homicide using the ropes to get some separation. Doug Williams, the ambassador of British wrestling. I don't think anybody's better at that catch style than Doug Williams. As he traps the arm and the wrist. On the side trying to counter. Oh, that's one way to use your head. The leg. He that was kicked him. I think Homicide's trying to prove a point in the early goings of this matchup. We normally see Homicide, he's going to be throwing hands, throwing feet, okay. I think clawing that's at it. your face, that's biting you. Yet to come, but he Joe. wants to show that he can throw down in the more traditional style of wrestling. Which he's absolutely, he absolutely excels at as well. One, two. Clean break. Homicide, bring it back. Again, pushing Doug Williams into the corner. Oh, he's biting his ear. Oh, there you go. Oh, it always fell. That's the homicide we're used to seeing. Every time he spits it out, it's like, was that a piece of the ear that he spit out? <laughs> But Doug Williams, so proficient, immediately back into the hammer lock, again controlling the left arm of Homicide. Yeah, I don't think Doug appreciated that ear bite too much. Well, Doug Williams knows how important this matchup is. As Homicide goes into the cover, gets a one count. Doug Williams, he wants to be a part of NWA history as much as any of the other wrestlers on our roster. He wants to hold on to gold. He wants to hold on to that junior heavyweight championship. As he flies to the middle rope, European uppercut. The roots of that championship go back to 1945. Just a little tidbit there. Yeah, I mean, when the NWA was founded, it was founded with only two championships, the heavyweight championship and the junior heavyweight championship. Cover now. Two count. Oh. oh, the pressure on that shoulder. Ooh. Ooh, he, Homicide needs to get out of that before his shoulder becomes dislocated. Oh, he's close. Oh, my God. He's close, but look at how he's using his legs. Gets his foot Ooh, on the bottom rope. so painful. Yeah, the damage may have already been done. You take out the shoulders, you take out Oof. the back. You take out a lot of the arsenal of Homicide. He's got to shake it off for a minute there. Homicide throwing haymakers. European uppercut, followed by a second by Doug Williams. Homicide answering back with punches to the face. <laughs> An exchange of blows here between both men. Battle between two fan favorites here in the NWA, here on NWA USA. He grabbed the tag rope. Doug was looking for Chaos Theory. Oh, Koji Cutter! Koji Cutter! Champ covers now. Oh, oh two so close for the retain. Can't believe he was able to break out of that. Oh! He calls that the Northeast Bomb! The Northeast Bomb! He got him. The champ retains. The winner of this match, and still NWA Junior Heavyweight Champion, Homicide! Everyone in the junior heavyweight division is on notice. Homicide, still your champion. We gotta take a break, we'll be back.
My name is Caprice Coleman. I've been part of this sport for 27 years. Owning my craft, looking at things, and then helping others become who they are. I begin to look in the mirror and realize that the things that I've been teaching people, not only am I able to retain, I'm able to do at a very high level. I'm Caprice Coleman. I have a rookie body, a veteran mind, a silver tongue. I'm the ageless one. I'm the show-stopping, crowd-popping, body-rocking, pulse-pounding, heart racer, the handsome face, heartbreaker. I'm the man with the style, the grace, the shape, and the face. I'm an innovator, a crowd motivator, commentator, complicator. Guess what? I'm more devastated than the space modulator. People look at me and they say, Caprice Coleman doesn't age. Can you imagine a man that is able to do what he was able to do years ago with the mindset that I have? The NWA has welcomed me here. And now I'm home. I've watched you since I grew up. And now it's time for me to change the game. Chip! The following match is one fall with a 10 minute time limit. Introducing first, from Bristol, Tennessee, the future legend, Terry Martin! A standing ovation for this young man. Rightfully so, too. His opponent, already in the ring, the Latin lover, Gustavo Aguilar! The Latin lover. Hmm, spicy. But he's giving it. That's, that's my rose, though. Yeah, he, yeah I'm surprised he didn't that's, give it to that's you. That's mine. I want that. All right, then he's got an extra one. Oh, never mind. Gustavo has other plans. He just gave it to the gentleman in the front row. Okay, well, she tries to jump start. Terry Morton. Terry Morton, too oh. quick. Now keep in mind, folks, I, I don't know oh. if you're paying attention at the beginning. Oh, ew, that is, this, he blocked that arm drag. Terry Morton, sorry, go ahead, Joe. These matches have a 10 minute time limit. This is fast paced, hard hitting matches here on NWA USA. And we got two incredible junior heavyweights here in Kerry Morton and Gustavo. Just such an impressive athlete all around. He's walking him all around the ring. Wow. Wow. Gustavo We're feeling the effect of that bump. For a count of 10, and Kerry Morton is feeling it. Oh, he gets the boot up. Gustavo's found an opening. He's got to capitalize on this second generation wrestler. Sunset Shoulders are down. In. Oh, so close. Kerry Morton with a oh drop my kick. God, stiff drop kick. Yeah, Gustavo got all of that. I don't think there's any love lost for this man all about romance. He's looking for the head scissors. Oh. Discus Forum putting him in the corner. And here comes Kerry Morton. Oh, the knee strike. He calls it kiss it goodbye. Cover now. Got him. The winner of this match, Kerry Morton. A dominant performance that Papa would be proud of. And this crowd is on their feet for Kerry Morton. For over 70 years, one name has stood for history, legacy, and tradition in professional wrestling. And the centerpiece of that legacy is the original lineal heavyweight championship of the world. The one that started them all, known to many as the 10 pounds of gold. Now, by popular demand, you can own your very own symbol of excellence, as the NWA has teamed up with Fandu Belts to bring you the official replica of the NWA World's Heavyweight Championship. This meticulously handcrafted belt is available in two options, the original pre-2021 glory, as well as the revised 2021 version with the UK plate updated by yours truly. Own the granddaddy of them all, the 10 pounds of gold. To order, visit fandubelts.com slash NWA. Please welcome NWA National Heavyweight Champion, Jack Stain. Jax, how do you feel about today's number one contender match for your title between Marche Rocket and Jay Bradley? How do I feel? How do I feel? How do you think I feel about it? What has Marche Rocket done to deserve a chance at the NWA National title? What has Jay Bradley done? Who has he ever beaten to be able to step in line for this title? Nobody. I'm not sure it's the Corrigan conspiracy. I've been dealing with it since day one. But neither of those guys, neither of those guys have climbed the ladder enough to step into the, the Dane event for the NWA national title. 
You see, I don't really want this match because neither one of them deserve the opportunity, but if my legal representation makes me move forward with this due to contractual duties, then I'll do what I have to do. But make no mistake about it, neither of those guys are on my level. And they just don't deserve the opportunity. Welcome back to the program, ladies and gentlemen. You do not want to miss NWA Power. Coming up on Tuesday, we're going to have La Rebellion defending those NWA World Tag Team Championships. They are taking on the end. We are also having the Cardonas. I'm sorry, the C word. The C word, mm -hmm. please. They're going toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Ill Begotten. And next week, right here, Saturday, for NWA USA, Caprice Coleman is making his debut right here in the NWA arena. And in our main event, Mims is taking on AJ. Jay Kazana, but speaking of the main event, we're going to the, today's main event right now. The following match is one fall with a 15 minute time limit, with the winner to receive a future shot at the National Heavyweight Championship on NWA USA. Introducing first, he is one half of the Fixers from Chicago, Illinois. This is Jay Bradley. A big powerhouse with a huge opportunity to bring gold to the Fixers. And he's all by himself. Yeah. I, I kind of missed the suit. Right. <laughs> and his opponent, accompanied by Black so. Jeez from Chicago, Illinois, this is All Day Marcherake. A few things that I want to mention, folks. We know that Jay Spade was originally scheduled to fight Homicide for the Junior Heavyweight Championship. I just want to remind you, or tell you folks, that because of some travel issues, he was not able to attempt to challenge Homicide for that championship earlier on in this episode. So we will be seeing that on future episodes of NWA USA. And I have to talk about the great work that we've seen from Tim Storm and from Medusa, the co-managing directors for NWA USA. You mentioned that Wrecking Ball Ligurski is not out here. That's because they are strictly enforcing rules. You have to be a licensed manager to accompany an athlete to the ring. Wrecking Ball Ligurski is the tag team partner of Jay Bradley. He is not licensed as a manager here, but Black G's is. I was going to say Black G's must be licensed. He also has those business cards to prove it. I kind of miss the cereal, though. I yeah, say. I think that that's more of Wrecking Ball style. Yeah, I'm sorry. But hey, it's Saturday early afternoon. Who doesn't want a big bowl of cereal? And an eye poke to Marche Rocket. Once again, what's at stake here being the number one contender for the NWA National Championship to challenge Jax Dane on a future episode of NWA USA. Jay Bradley overpowering Marche Rocket. And Marche Rocket's not a small man. No, he's means. not. These are powerhouses. Up and over. Bradley gets the boot up. Flies through with the shoulder tackle. And the pain and the pressure on Marche Rocket as he gets the elbow, but eats an elbow of his own. And Bradley picking him up. Oh, backbreaker. Oh, that was right a across the lower back. That was devastating. That was a nasty backbreaker. I don't know if Marche's going to be able to come back from that. Hook in the outside leg. It still gets the shoulder up. You can see the look on Marche Rocket's face. He's definitely feeling the effects of that backbreaker. You know, one man who is watching this match very intently is Jack Dane. It seems like he's going out of his way to make sure he defends that championship as little as possible. In the exact opposite of what we see with Homicide. He wants to defend that championship as much as possible to the best contenders out there. After what we've seen from Jack Stain recently, that doesn't surprise me. Jim. Yeah, lawyering up, trying to find legal loopholes. Bradley gets a two count on Marche Rocket. Legal loopholes so he won't have to defend that championship. 
As Black G's is trying to motivate Marche Rocket to get to his feet. And the power of Jay Bradley. Velvet, this is for you! All right, Velvet. He said that that was for me. This is for you, apparently. Why for me, though? What, what's the business here? Oh, he just blew me a kick. Okay. Uh, who doesn't love Velvet? Okay, thanks, I think. Bring me cereal next time. Oh, face full of turnbuckle. The way to a woman's heart is through a healthy breakfast. <laughs> Marche Rocket with one of the best drop kicks in the game. Full mount, ground and pound. I think him blowing a kiss to me kind of, you know, like gave Marche Rocket an opening to. It did, it did. It created just that slight opening for Marche Rocket. For Jay Bradley to get a face full of turnbuckle. Yeah. Marche, boom. Straight punch to the face. And now the Rocket Man. He's ready to blast off. In this number one contender's bout. Winner to challenge for the national title here on NWA USA. Splash in the corner. Down goes Bradley. And this is a point in the match where I think Bradley, he's used to tagging into Ligurski to get oh, yeah. a chance to catch his breath. Good point. Doesn't have that opportunity here. That's the only downfall when you're in a tag team and then you're forced to be in a singles match is you're, you're used to tagging out, like you said. You're not used to having to wrestle an entire match. Oh, Marche Rocket showing some agility. Oh, 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 He's full of boot. After able to land on his feet. Bradley is stunned. Here comes Marche. Bradley picking him up. The strength of Bradley, wow, boom. Into a huge slam. Jeez, can't believe it. Oh, wait, well, wait a minute. I, referee saw it. Referee saw it. Marche was getting his foot there anyways. I don't think Jeez needed to do that at all. Marche was already moving minute. his foot. Jeez is up on the apron now, arguing with the Get ref. In the face. The, and now Jay Bradley the ref putting his hands on Jared. And now he's bullying Jared Fritz, our referee. Oh, this, ma wrong. this match is over, folks. Oh, wait, here comes Wrecking Ball. Oh, he's... Jay Bradley put his hands on me. Jeez, Jeez. Double disqualification. This match has ended in a double disqualification. Ball. There is no winner. Well, what does this mean for the, for the national title picture? Nobody's happy about this, folks. We'll try to figure out what that means for who's gonna challenge Jack's Day next. But we will see you this Tuesday for Power.